Well, hey guys, 7 Demo 7, and I'm here to, to give you a quick tutorial on how to make a, uh, a an adapter plug from a T or a uh, Dean style uh, plug to an XT60 plug, basically. So basically, if you've got a model that has this on it, and you've got a battery that looks like this, you'll need these two components. So this is basically a male, and this is I. These are so hard to tell if they're male or female, but if it looks like this on your battery you'll need these two other parts here. So um, what I'm going to be using is um, a, a Dean's plug that looks like this, which is basically female and a XT60 plug that looks like this. This is kind of the, it's kind of female on the outside, but male on the inside. It's kind of funny how they do this, but, um, and so what I do is um, I want to meld these two pieces together and solder it together. So what I'm going to do is actually take a pliers and I'm going to invert one of these uh, sides here. So I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm going to take this and I'll zoom this in in just a smidge here. I'm going to take the negative side and rotate the negative side around. And so they both look like that. Let me see if I can focus. There we go. Handy iPhone. Okay, so now What's going to happen is I get the negative to the negative, and it's basically going to seat in just like this. This is how we're going to do this. So I'm going to give you a little close-up view here. What I use is I use a pliers to help me uh, stabilize everything here. So hang on a sec. Make sure you keep your negatives and positives correct here. All right, so good. So this basically it now is almost like it's made to join together. It's almost like it's made to join together, as you can see here. So it just kind of comes up like this. I'm trying to look at the. So basically, it goes like this. Okay. Get my deans. Actually, when you're soldering deans, it's always a good idea to put an adapter uh, and uh, appropriate plug in the other end so that the um, the portions don't melt in the inside. It helps also helps to carry the um, the heat away from your working area here. All right, so let's see if we can get these guys together. I think if you were to tin these, I think you wouldn't have enough room to actually um, get everything together here. So use a clean soldering iron, obviously. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to try and get in here um, around the camera and everything. Let's see what I can do with my limited vision here. Now it's actually okay just to tack these together to start with. I see that I'm moving here a little bit. So. There we go. So I've got that semi tacked together. So now I can flip this over. I can release this guy and just turn my pliers over here. You can see that it is um, pretty well done there. Not bad. Let's see how I'm going to do this other side. I've actually never made this type of a plug before, so I'm kind of making this up as I go, but uh, I have seen it done. So, <laughs> I'm going to tack this together here as well. Add a lot of solder here. Join, join, join. Now, remember when you're soldering that solder always follows the heat. So, you want to keep your heat moving as well. Most of the time. Okay, that's not flowing over the way I'd like it to. There it is. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's see where, where we're at here. <clears throat> okay, so got a pretty good joint there. I need to add a little bit more solder, but I'd like to add some solder down in this area right here on both sides. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just add a little bit more solder in in the appropriate spots. And then we will get some, hopefully I have the appropriate uh, heat shrink. So I'm just going to keep adding here and making sure that it's flowing everywhere. Got a nice hot soldering iron. That looks great. So all right, I'm going to keep turning this around to the other side. Okay, let's uh, get some more solder in this area here. So I'm going to go here. Actually, let me clean this off. There we go. Perfect. Try this right here. Uh, my camera's right in the way. Ugh. Ugh. I'll try to come from this angle. It's the worst angle to come from. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's pretty good. Mm 
There we go. Okay. That looks really nice. So it's not the perfect job, but you guys get the idea. So there's no cold joints there. It's, it's all flowed solder. It's, it's um, not going to come apart. This is very, very strong. So, all right. So we're going to get some heat shrink. I'm just going to go around there. Okay, guys. So I'm going to take this uh, amount of heat shrink. I'm just going to heat shrink it in just a moment. Unfortunately, my heat shrink is a uh, my heater unit is across the way. So I'm going to take this right now and we'll heat shrink it, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, guys. Here is the finished product with the uh, the other ends plugged in. Like I said, if you need to uh, adapt any type of a Dean's connector to your XT60s, this is how you, how to do it in the most efficient manner without the least amount of weight and the least amount of work. So I will talk to you guys later. See you on the next video. Bye.